Today, the television told me the world was ending. Well, maybe not, but that's the way it feels. And I've already lost one job and only poured orange juice for the other, and my hands are bright red and sting with obedience. And I can keep a smile and make light of it all, but I'm starting to ask myself but for how long. Are smiles just another necessity the pessimists will ruin for the rest of us, or are the optimists holding out for a shallow truth? Today, the television turned the world upside down, and the man in the reflection of the screen looks like he's on the verge of a mental breakdown and needs a nap. I think the world needs a nap. And if the uncertainty of it all is like a new zip code for a house I am forced to live inside longer than I am comfortable, forgive me for breaking the rules and straying into public looking for more people who don't know how they're feeling, who don't know they need a poet. And damn it, at least let me, let us have the small victories. Like the toll attendant who took my dollar this morning and smiled at me like she had cases and cases of smiles in bulk and said for me to have a good day as I told her to do the same. And there was this beautiful moment of humanity in knowing just how much we both really meant that. So if the television today has me believing the world is ending again, I hope I have the same toll attendant tomorrow to smile with and give my dollar to until this finally subsides and we begin a whole new level of normal. And if that's the way it happens, how bad was it really? How bad can it ever be? Thank you.